Hi, I'm Dr. Samantha Durland. And I'm Andrea Hooty. And welcome to another episode of The Body Shop. Today, we're going to review some of the injuries that a anterior chain athlete may experience and also talk about posterior chain athlete injuries and potential prevention mechanisms. Right. So with the posterior chain dominant athlete being the kind of opposite of the anterior chain athlete, um, a great example that I use is a football player who was an outside wide receiver and they're a linear athlete, you know, during football season, but then they go and decide to play basketball, pick up basketball game and they get hurt. Really good athlete. They show strength really well. They're athletic and they're powerful, but they create that power breaking mechanism in a different way. So an outside wide receiver goes in and he plays basketball for the first time since playing football and basketball requires breaking skills, which is anterior chain dominant. And he goes in and one of the common things is they, they, a great athlete comes in and plays basketball and they tear their ACL. Well, they're not trained to break. They're trained to accelerate and be really good at that. So, you know, it's scary for me as a coach to watch uh, the transition period between sports and what people are doing because that's a really sensitive area that can be trained pretty quickly if people realize it, right? So if you're a posterior chain dominant athlete, you rely on posterior chain a lot, or a linear athlete relies on posterior chain. The thing they lack is the anterior chain um, capabilities at that time. So which is breaking. Break, so they'll keep going and then they'll try to stop and then their body keeps going with that momentum and then it just Yeah, and, and just the opposite of, or it shows of a lack of strength, not that they're not strong, they're just not wired to do that yeah. yet. So then in um, like somebody who's an anterior chain dominant athlete who breaks a lot and then they compete against an outside wide receiver in you know, what they call gassers back and forth, yeah. the posterior chain dominant athlete is at a huge advantage because they can run in a straight line. So that's where you see like groin pulls, hamstring tears, you know, Achilles injuries or, you know, uh, plantar fasciitis uh -huh. with those people because they, um, they just, they're not wired to do that. And I, again, I think this is a great point to bring out too, because so many people when they're like in a race or they're in a competition they just want to win so bad but you have to realize your own body type and your strengths and with different body types come different strengths and so it doesn't mean anyone's not as great as the other person you're just asking something of your body that it doesn't naturally do as well as the other person right so when people say well who's the best athlete you ever worked with i'm like what sport what position you know yeah it totally changes it, it totally changes well, yet another fun episode. So I'm Dr. Samantha Durland. And I'm Andrea Hootie. And thank you so much for joining us for another episode of The Body Shop. Have a great day.